the code is eating. <laughs> the morning I slept in today. Really happy about that because I wanted to because I've just been feeling blah and tired. I'm getting ready to take Marley out. Then I'm going to feed my seven day old sourdough starter. I don't see anything dramatic happening. I just checked it out. We'll see. I haven't even, I have not done anything. Coffee, no. But you should to know. Nothing. It's actually colder outside than what I thought it was gonna be. But it's supposed to get up to like 60 today, so we'll see. Still plan on going to the store later. Target. But yeah, we'll go from there. We're gonna get him out and then we're gonna go, or then I'm gonna do my sour cup. So here we are at day seven, just a little past six. Oh, you can tell there was some activity in here last night. Got a little bit of hooch in this one. Let's see how this one's doing. Oh, wow. You can definitely tell there were some bubbles going on in here. I'm gonna have to show you guys. Okay, this is a given. It's, it's just as bad, I can tell. And then this one too. Oh yeah, that's much better view. Than it was. So let me discard. And then I feed. Today is day seven, so I'm thinking over the next few days we should see something. That liquid is the hooch. You guys can see this, okay? Starting all but about two tablespoons. Let's see. This is what I'm left with. Was at the bottom and then along the sides. And then again, I'll discard this one. I don't know why I'm keeping this second one. And then all but about two tablespoons. So I was reading yesterday the recipe that I'm following or the starter. She was saying after it's formed or whatnot, probably gonna want to not probably want to, you should start doing a one to two ratio. So one part starter. Which looks a little bit more than two tablespoons. I'm gonna one part starter, two parts flour, two parts water, or what for four ratio, where it's one part starter, four parts. One thing I have learned in this sourdough journey, the internet will have you out here thinking you were some type of chemist or physicist or something with the exact measurements or the science behind sourdough. And at this point, I'm still doing the quarter cup of water and quarter cup of flour, but you'll see in the next video, so make sure you subscribe and follow along for my sourdough journey. You'll see that I do switch up my ratios and I'm actually starting to use more flour, less water because I need my bacteria to eat. And from that, I actually do start to get some activity. But at this point, like I said, I'm still doing quarter cup flour, quarter cup of water, and then, so basically like a one, 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 or maybe like a, 0.5 to 1 1 because I am getting rid of like all the starter with for the exception of like two tablespoons or whatnot but I'm just stirring 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 let me tell you guys when it comes to the sourdough I don't know why but when it's all up on the sides it really bothers me so I scrape it and then like I just try to keep it clean and that's why I like this rubber spatula actually because it's good for like gripping and scrubbing the sides but as I have been um uh, feeding my sourdoughs and everything, just keeping this process going, I'm not gonna tell you a story. Like I do switch my jars out sometimes just because it's a preference thing and I like how the jars look cleaner, it's easier for me to see and I don't know, I just think it's better. Call me crazy, feel free to judge me, I don't care. <laughs> but <clears throat> 
still feeding these guys and yes i am still keeping the one up in the back because in the last video if you haven't watched it make sure you go back and watch it i did tell you i do end up giving that one to a co-worker spouse or whatnot and she in turn end up giving it to one of her co-workers so you know we're all about giving over here so yeah i keep feeding it and nurturing it and then i do give it to her in a clean jar like i go get a mason jar and everything and give it to her that way because i don't want to give her like my mess or like you know just something i wanted to give her something that was easy for her to work with that's neither here or there but just thought i would let you guys know that so yeah i'm just mixing this all up and then at the end like by the time i finish mixing this too like between this one then i'm going to put the cover on it and move it out the way and then i'm going to feed the other one and i would say it's probably like a three four minute process or whatnot but i decide to look at it to see what it actually looks like and you'll actually see at the end of this video that it's already bubbling. So Dakota's eating. She's alive and well. She just needed some more nutrients. And I'm telling you, as we continue to go on, you'll see that she's getting better and everything. But And while it is on my mind, so I reuse my jars. So I live alone. My family's not here. When I tell you I am living like a single guy or something, or as we would say in the army, like a single soldier or that, I'm not going to say without a care in the world because I do have a care. But anywho. I reuse my jars and for whatever reason when I put hot water in that back jar the Lucina I think that's like spaghetti sauce or something the plastic did not come off or like the paper or whatnot the wrapper is now off so do not come for me I know that if you put hot water in the jar it makes it easier to come off so I did that I washed it and I put a like a Brillo pad on it to get all the sticky stuff off but yeah I reuse my jars I recycle I'm like not trying to have all this waste or whatnot but that's my jar. Don't come at me talking about my jar and how you can tell that it used to be a spaghetti jar. This or that. I'm telling you it used to be a spaghetti jar. But yeah, if you can or if you are interested, when you get like a salsa jar or like a spaghetti sauce jar or anything like that, reuse it. Like when I'm not using these for sourdough, this is how I pack like salad sometimes for work or I'll even put my fruit in it or like I'll store leftovers in it. And again, it's like reducing waste and just being mindful of what you have and how you're using it. Just thought I would let you guys know that. So just be cognizant, you know, all that stuff does go to a landfill. But yeah, I just wanted to let you guys know. So now when I am reusing a jar, I immediately go ahead and pour like the hot water in and all that good stuff so that I can get all the sticky stuff off on the outside. And you see how I'm like cleaning this jar? I am just like too dedicated to how these sourdough starter jars are looking. Call me crazy. Oh my God. Oh, this is bubbling. So, the coat is eating. <laughs> and same for this one. So, that's a good sign. This is all right, so we'll be back for the safety feeding. Mm -hmm. 